Excellency, ladies, gentlemen, colleagues, on behalf of the Commonwealth Foundation, I only add our welcome to this award ceremony for the 2018 Commonwealth Short Story Prize. Thank you. The regional winners of this year's Commonwealth Short Story Prize. Efwa Traore from Nigeria. Sagnik Dutta from India. Linda Clark from the United Kingdom. Kevin Jarrod Hussain from Trinidad and Tobago, and Jenny Bennett Tuionatoa from Samoa. It was a familiar sight for us. Usha sitting on a high branch 15 feet from the ground, legs dangling, spitting out lychee seeds. She was also an expert swimmer and could hold her breath underwater for more than two minutes. But now that she was pregnant, certain things were no longer allowed. She could no longer climb trees, nor fill herself with papayas and lychees and wild berries. And Gilly's mum bared her teeth in response. Casper elbowed his dad, and they both stared, lips curled. Please, Mum, said Gilly, and she became a raccoon by way of apology as they went inside. She poised herself as if bracing for a massive blow, and he glided a pace backward. Suddenly, he regretted coming up to this woman. This thing like that go and be the end of me, fellas, Stu say, lighting a cigarette. So what you do after? Man who cut in. <laughs> what do you think? Turn wrong and bust out of there one time. I come straight home and vow never to covet another woman ever again. But respect your father. <laughs> I know I agree with Pastor Justice. In fact, I vex a lot with Pastor Justice because he says such things without knowing a father like my own. He made his way to the window. The window with the metal bars on it that his father had put there after that night the night of his 18th birthday. The night he had snuck out of the house through the window and returned early the next morning with a shark tattooed on his left shoulder. The fact that this competition is unique and wonderful and inclusive and has enormous reach and there is not another competition like it, I don't think. My great pleasure to announce the winner of the 2018 Commonwealth Short Story Prize, Kevin Jarrett Hussain for his story passage. <laughs>